Hey everyone, this is Matt Doomaster here with Alpha Game Reviews, and we're taking a look at a game called The Forest, which appears to actually be on an airplane. Hmm. I'm thinking someone was a little too obsessed with Lost when they designed this game. Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah, that's not good. But where's all the other passengers? Okay, well I assume we're, we're going... Okay, yes, we're going down in the forest. And, and, oh, okay, we're hitting a bunch of trees. And we blacked out. Ah, oh, it's a fucking mute. Uh, what, what, what is this guy? Why does he have a bunch of chains around his pelvis? No, C come on. No, don't do that. Ah, son of a bitch. I assume I'm going to have to rescue my kid then. And we were so closely bonded. Oh, shit. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, low energy. Eat something or get some rest. Yum. Holy shit. So, <laughs> no passengers, but we did have a stewardess. So that's good. Uh, and now we have an axe. So I assume that's useful. What's back here? A can, which is now in my backpack. Oh, that's an interesting interface. Um, as long as this doesn't suck too much in actual use, that, that might actually be pretty cool. Uh, I like survival games that make the interface sort of um, a challenge in the sense that, you know, if you were actually trying to survive something, a bunch of, of horrible mutants were chasing you around or horrible zombies or whatever, you can't just go pop it in your pack and pause time. You know, that's not that's not part of the survival horror theme. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't really know what all those different bottles are going to do for me, but I might as well pick some stuff up at this point, I suppose. So, what are these shiny things? Noticing a lot of screen tearing, which is a bit odd because this is supposed to be um, V-Sync limited right now. I would assume to 30 frames per second or perhaps 60. Um, and it doesn't seem to be working very well. So maybe it's just not working at all. You know, early early survival or early build of a game like this, you would kind of expect those sort of things to perhaps be broken. Uh, but this, what is this? This is unexpected. It's actually a guide in the game trying to teach you what to do. So if I want a hunting shelter, I need logs, rocks, and sticks. Oh my god, it's a survival game that actually tells you what to do. What the fuck? Hmm. I'm going to assume those people are not good. Because they look a little weird and they run very quickly. So, we'll grab some stuff here. And maybe head head away from there. Because uh, at least they apparently did not see me. Yeah, game, I already opened the book. I already opened the book. Well... So I assume I'm gonna have to cut down a tree for logs. So let's go do this. Let's let's try and cut down a tree. Yes. It's finally a lumberjack simulator. Been waiting for this. Does it actually like require me to go around the different sides of the tree to cut it down? That's interesting. I don't know if it's entirely accurate, but I suppose, you know, uh, lumberjack simulators have only come so far over the years. I suppose it's better than, like, EverQuest Landmark that's where trees just kind of explode into things of wood. You know, <laughs> at least has that going for it. So, what, I've got two logs there. So I'm going to need more. 
So let's chop down another tree. I'm curious if it falls on you if it kills you. Is it worth is it worth finding out if that happens? I think it might be worth finding out if that happens. Is it is it falling over here? Oh my god! Um No. Nope, doesn't kill you. <laughs> In fact it appears the to, to bounce off of you and go flying through the woods. Um so you know uh, this might be a you know a a, fan a world of fantastic physics perhaps. So let's see, we got we got four logs. How many rocks do we have? We got three rocks and four sticks, so we need two more sticks. There's another. There's another. And one more rock. Oh, Rocky, where are you? Okay. Okay, so we've got. We got all the rocks we need and all the sticks we need. So, can I just do this now? Oh. Okay. So you put them into the structure, so to speak. All right. That actually does not appear to be the number of resources the guide indicated I needed. But, you know, uh, little details, I suppose, um, are, we can forgive the details not being exactly right at this point in the game. All right, so, logs. Still need some logs. What does this do? Mm, nothing, I can tell. Okay. So we're going to chop down another tree. Looks like we got a nice little lake or something down there with some very unusual water graphics. Something you can't see in the video, but which is annoying me a bit, is the fact that I have to click every time I want to um, swing my axe here. That's annoying. Oh my, what the hell? Why is a bird on my hand? Apparently I'm a druid. Alright, one more log. We can grab and swing down here. Sticks. Need more sticks. I don't know what feathers are for. Maybe you can make a bow and arrow. I would like that. That would be pretty cool. Where are the sticks? Can I get some from like chopping this down? Maybe? No? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, there's another one. So I just need one more stick. I am appreciative that it's telling me how many more I need down there apparently. So thank you for that. All right. Got all the sticks we need. Apparently I get winded quite easily. Okay. And I have a hunting shelter. So that's that's something, I guess. Now I need a fire. So for that, I need leaves and sticks. But first, maybe I should save my game. Oh god, I can't save my game unless I sleep in this thing. That could get painful. I am cold and wet. Which I assume is not a pleasant state of affairs. So I need sticks and leaves. Where do I get leaves? Where do you think I would get leaves? I mean, it's a forest. It's like, shouldn't there just be leaves, like, everywhere on the ground? I feel like there should be. Oh, okay, so I can just, okay, let's just chop down plants. There we go. Yes. If I get attacked by, by anything at this point, I am going to shit my pants because I have no light at all and no real way of telling when anything is going to come after me. All right, fire. Excellent. All right. One.
One is edible, the other is poisonous. Oval leaved blueberries are edible. Black blueberries are toxic. So let's remember that. That's a good thing. You're going to want to know that. I'm glad we have a lighter at the very least. Okay. Um, so. I really don't want to go out and look for berries right now since it's dark. Maybe. Can I make some sort of torch? Hmm. Torch does not appear to be something I can make. Alright, so maybe I can just sleep until it is day again. Nope, still night. Oh shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? What are Uh, okay. I guess they're not hostile. So that's good. Oh. Nope, don't. Get away from me. Ugh, fuck. Ah! Oh, they're gonna attack me now. Oh. Oh shit, one hit kill, huh? Well, those are some pretty lethal talons I suppose she's got. Uh, apparently my axe, though, doesn't have such a much, much of an effect. Oh, okay, so I'm not dead. So... Something something else is happening. Something that sure is very horrifying. What's this? Luggage. Pills. Useful. Uh, axe. Useful. Is that like an I Love New Yorkshire or something that the guy has on? Ah, poor fella. Alright, so... Oh, so I found some passengers. Now, there wasn't any passengers on the plane. Come on, I saw it. No passengers are on that plane. Mm. Oh my god. I, I, I'm stuck. Okay, not stuck on the rock anymore. So I'm curious, how do I make this lighter a better light source than this? I suppose it's just not going to happen. That's the survival horror part of it. Ooh. That's block. Apparently there's like a rave going on in here. I have not been invited. That's very rude. I hear some sort of noise in the distance. You might not be hear it on the video. It's very faint. Sort of a shrill noise. Not the most comforting. Hmm. This is a pretty cool cave. Wouldn't want to be in here in an earthquake, though. Oh, shit. Those are some of those guys. They have, like, f why do they have flashlights on their heads? I suppose that is part of the mystery. All right. Is this, is, is something moving up there? I really can't see. It sort of vaguely looks like something's moving up there, but... Maybe it's just water. We're just going to have to go find out for ourselves. Looks like it's just some water. In fact, I'm not really sure what's going on here. What is this? Is this 
is like, I guess, a spring of some sort. All right. So I'm not I'm not really sure what the point of all this is right now. I mean, oh, here we go. <coughs> all right. So it looks like I have managed to escape from near certain death at the hands of the mutants. And I am shaking <laughs> with fear a little bit. Um, that's cool. We'll just go back home, and you know, we'll start off. We'll start off where, where we left. Let bygones be bygone, and hopefully, we won't run into any more of them anytime soon. Uh, I'm wondering if there's any way of knowing exactly how far away I am from my home, except for this this big home symbol. It's looking like no. It doesn't. M is not working for a map or anything like that. Oh, what's this? Well, shit on a stick. This would be a much nicer home if I could just utilize this. Look at this. This is already built for me. What the fuck happened? Okay. I thought that was like some sort of weird monster about to attack me. Hmm. What? I what is this? I don't know. I think that's a bug. Is what that is. <laughs> so we got some passengers here, or maybe some tribesmen. That looks like a mutant tribesman or something. Um. So you know, the upside of this is we have shelters. The downside of this is probably they already know about this place. And if they already know about it, it seems to stand the reason that they would be back. What was that noise? Ah, shit. Let me get out of here. Ah, they're chasing me. So I wonder if there's, like, any way, if I actually have, like, a chance of, like, outrunning these guys. Let's find out. So far, signs point more towards no than the yes. But maybe they'll eventually stop. Maybe they have an aggro radius. Ah, fuck. There's still two of them back there. Why didn't they give up? But no, they're like weird mutant guys chasing me around. I think it's like the same two as well. That lady looks familiar. Hey, there's a boat here. Save me! Ah, oh, it looks like it's crashed. Hi, guys. So, what do you guys I mean? It's a nice beach. You guys just want to sun yourself, or uh, no, not not really into that part of the scene. You know, the fact that they just kind of like trail you and don't always like go after you is actually like probably creepier than if they just attacked you right away. It's like, we're watching you. We might kill you at any time. But who knows? We might let you live. Eat some of these berries. These are the good ones, right? Violet? Let's do the violet. Let's get our stamina back. All right, so we have found our camp again. Go away. Go away. Hmm. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Oh. Jesus. 
I guess I'm just going to have to deal with her being my buddy or something. And she's, oh my god, now they're climbing the fucking trees. Well, whatever. I'm not much I can do about it, except I could build some walls. If I want to build some walls, I'll need to cut down some trees. So. I can put my lighter away. I really don't need that right now. Ah, yeah, whatever. Oh, now I'm holding an axe and a log. A couple other things. And there's there's more of these guys. And I'm not really sure how to get rid of the logs now. Oh, there we go. Ah, go away. Well, folks, shit. This doesn't look good. What is this over here? It's a weird tree. What are you guys doing? Oh, they're attacking me. Oh, my God, there's so many of them now. And I'm going to die. So this is the forest. A game that I would uh, think be accurately described as a getting murdered by mutants simulator. Um, should, you, should you spend $14.99 on it? Oh my god, that is the reddest screen I've ever seen in my fucking life. Get that shit out of here. Oh, okay. S should you spend fourteen ninety nine on it? Probably not. Not right now, anyway. Uh, this is one of those alpha games that comes out and is so alpha that it's kind of like, well, I, I guess it could be a game. Maybe? It's not really a game yet. Uh, I'm not sure why you're selling it. But we'll see how it, uh, how it matures over the next few months. I'll probably check back in on this one to see if they made any progress. Right now, the, the, the real issue with the game is um, there's not really a lot to do. Uh, it seems like you you pretty much just get chased by mutants, and you hit the mutants, and they hit you. And from what I can see of the crafting system so far, there's not a lot to build. Um, I mean, make some walls would obviously be great. Um, but I didn't see a lot of tools or other utilities. You know, you could use traps to, to help kill some of them. I did see those, but, uh, of course I didn't get the chance because they pretty much were immediately following me. And, <laughs> and then I, I shortly got murdered. So, The Forest. Out though on Steam right now. Meh. Who knows. We'll see how it, uh, see how it goes in, in the coming months. Thanks for watching. This is Matt Dewmaster with Alpha Game Reviews, signing off.